Martin, go and play. I'm doing a live video, please. Okay. Tag someone. Tag your friend. 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 This is a live Q&A session. Live Q&A. Live Q&A. Uh, tag someone to tag someone to tag someone. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess we will start since we're not getting uh, people from now. Uh, I guess with further ado, we will start and sort of wait for more people to join in. If you join in, you can uh, post your question and we will try to answer them. Uh, this morning, as I got up and uh, was reflecting and um, meditating, uh, something came into mind. Something came into mind. And, um, and that thing that came into mind was uh, friendship and, and how, how we choose our friends the impact that friends have on us. So if you've had any uh, experience with your friends, any good experience or not so good experience with friendship, uh, please share your experience, leave comment, and um, we will try to discuss that. Um, the way we choose our friends is very, very important. Uh, for some, we uh, have sort of two types of friendship. There is what we have on social media and our sort of physical contact friends. Uh, in the Gospels, Jesus had a lot of friends. He had the large crowd whom he ministered to. Then within that, he had 72. Luke's gospel says that Jesus had 72. In fact, he sent them out in two pairs. Uh, then he had 12 friends. Within that 12 friends, he has three. These three friends he takes to very sensitive and complex issues and they help him, they watch, they observe. So what sort of friends do you have? Are these friends adding value to your life or are they taking value from your life? Tag someone, tag someone, tag someone. Tag someone. Tag someone. Let's have a conversation. <laughs> Well, I have a little story that I want to share. And um, after the story, you can um, leave your comment or as, as I share the story, you can leave your comment below or, or in, the live, in the live chat session of this video. And we can, um, we can sort of take those questions together. Oh, I have a question here. Sorry, 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 sorry. Right. Tego is asking a question. Please, is it good to cheat on your girlfriend when she is also cheating? <laughs> right. Okay. Tego, forgive me. I was somewhere else. I've seen your question. Is it good to cheat on your girlfriend when she is also cheating? Well, Tego, I don't think it's advisable to cheat on your girlfriend. Secondly, also, who is a friend? Okay, so let me, let, let me take the first one. It's not good to cheat on your girlfriend when she's doing like us. In fact, the fact that your girlfriend is cheating is a clear indication that perhaps you should be careful of that relationship and um, be mindful 
uh, of that relationship and think carefully what you want to do with that particular relationship. But I wouldn't say that you go and cheat because your girlfriend is cheating. The temptation is there to do it. But um, pray and ask God to help you. The second question you are asking is, who is your friend? Good. Now, a friend is someone who is with you through thick and thin. Uh, I have had a lot of friends, and some have become family. Some have become long-distance friends. Uh, a friend is someone who will be with you when you are at your very bottom, at your very lowest. A friend is someone who will speak for you, who will defend you. A friend is not someone who will support your stupidity. In fact, a friend is someone who will tell you the truth to your face. Okay, so if you have a friend who always tells you something to your face, who is not afraid to stand up to you and tell you what you are doing wrong, then that friend, I think, is, is a good friend. Not a friend who will sort of stop, uh, support all your unwise decisions. That's not a good friend. A friend, for me, a friend is someone who will add value to my life, not someone who will sap energy from me. So when I'm choosing a friend, I'm very careful of the sort of friend I choose. I choose my friends on the basis of the sort of value they will add to my life, the sort of value they will add to my vocation, the sort of value they will add to my relationship, the sort of value they will add to my friendship, my marriage, uh, the sort of value they will add to my academic life. That is how I gauge uh, in terms of choosing my friend. Uh, so, you know, there is no one definition for friendship. Of course, that we will have a, a definition for friendship, but I don't think that that definition for friendship uh, uh, works nowadays because the, the easiest thing you can do to find out who is your, your true friend is this. I will normally, for example, if, you know, look within my cycle of friends and I will ask them something. So maybe a monetary uh, value. I will ask about a, in, in England, maybe a thousand pounds or 1,500 pounds. So I will call, pick up the phone and call some of my friends and say, oh, hey, look, uh, I'm in a very great need. Would you be able to lend me 1,000 pounds or 1,500 pounds or 500 pounds or 200 pounds? And if that person is your friend, they will lend you that money without question. If that person is not your friend, they will find a story to tell you, and in fact, you will not hear from them anymore. Okay? That's me. That's one of the things I use to determine who is my true friend. So let's try and define what friendship is. Yeah? There you go. Let's try and define what friendship is. A friend is a person with whom one has a bound of mutual affection. Typically, one exclusive of sexual or family relations. Well, as I said, that is true for many friendship, but nowadays, that may not be so true. A friend is one who has a bound of mutual affection. And so the question may be, what is mutual affection? Mutual affection. Let's find out what that says. Mutual affection is sympathy of each person for the other. Now, that's a great place to start. Do we see sympathy in our friendship? Do we see sympathy for the other friend? For example, if I have a friend, do I have sympathy for them? 
Well, I will say to some extent, yes, I do have sympathy for most of my friends because I am concerned of their well-being. I'm concerned that they become successful. I am concerned that it is well with them and their family. So when it comes to sympathy for each person, then yes, I do have sympathy for most of my friends. The question is whether they have sympathy for me. I don't know. You know, um, you choose to be friends with somebody. Whether or not they choose you as their friend is another thing. So you may choose someone as your friend based on the value they add to your life. But the question is that, do they also see you as their friend? Do they also see you as someone who add value to their life? And I think uh, uh, that that question or, or the answer to that question or will show uh, whether that person is is sort of values you as their friend. So you know when it comes to friendship, it says. Uh, one that has bound mutual affection. And mutual affection is sympathy for each person. It means you have sympathy for another person. So if you have a friend, it means somebody that you have sympathy towards. And, and Tego, I don't think that in the friendship of nowadays, in the friendship of our society now, I don't think that people have sympathy for their friends. If anything... People are friends with other people because of what they get from them, not because of what they give to that friendship. And so when it comes to friendship, um, it's, it's, it's all about having sympathy for each other. Tego, I want you to expound more about not all. Well, yes, as, as, as I've alluded to, a lot of people who uh, are in friendship nowadays is because of what they will get from that friendship. And, and most often than not, it is, it is money. That particular thing is money because of what they get from, 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 from that other person. And, and that is money. Uh, and that happens a lot within within the Ghanaian community. That happens a lot within the African community. In fact, that happens a lot in, 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 our, in the UK here and in, in, the, in the British culture. People uh, are in friendship because of what they get. Uh, very few, very few are in friendship because of what they give and the sympathy and the affection and the mutual purpose to which they have to the other person. Very few are in friendship uh, because of that. Majority of people are in friendship because of what they gain from that friendship. And, 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 and the sad thing is this. When that person or when that particular thing they are gaining stops, then you, you realize that that people is drifting away from you. They are drifting away gradually. I've had many experiences like that. People whom are in the same age as myself, people who are older than me and people who are below my age. Most of them, because, and I, I, you see, the thing is, I manage this very carefully. I watch this. Um, when people begin to drift away from you, most, most often than not, you will see that um, what they get from that friendship has stopped. And they are not getting that thing anymore. So they, they start to drift away. They start to drift away. Not all because some are different. Well, yes, you're right. Uh, some do look out for friendship or go into friendship uh, to, to help out, to have sympathy, to have mutual affection. In fact, to, to, to help each other. Uh, very few go in, uh, uh, well, a lot of them go in for the, for the benefit. Very few go in uh, to, to offer. And, you know, I mean, friendship, this subject is big and, and broad. 
uh, there's a lot in friendship, but you know, many people are in friendship because of what they get. You, you can test this. You can test this with as little as if you're in Ghana, maybe 50, 100 or 200 cities. Oh, hello. You know, um, I'm in dire need. Can you help me? I need this. I'll give it to you in the next 14 days or in the next 30 days. I need to do something with it. Can you help me? And see the response that comes from it. If the person has sympathy for you and he has mutual affection for you, uh, even if they don't have it, they will try and, and find something for you. You might not need the money. Maybe you are trying to use it to test the integrity and the loyalty of their friendship. And, um, and you will know. Uh, uh, loyalty is, is another thing. Uh, when we talk about friendship, the next thing we want to talk about is loyalty. Many people are in friendship not because of loyalty, but again, because of what they get from the friendship. So, you know, uh, Tego, as you are growing up, I know by now you are in your probably 20s, uh, early 20s or mid 20s. You know, be, be careful of the sort of friends you choose. Be careful of the sort of friends you allow close to you. Uh, be careful to choose friends who will add value to your life. Uh, it is good to have people who you will impart knowledge and wisdom and who you will help. But most of the time, it is good to have friends who, who will add value to you. I'll give you an example. Most of my friends now, as I speak to you, the average age of my friend is about 60 years. And, you know, these are the people I consider my friends who add value to my life. It's about 60 to 65 years, the average age. Whenever I have any difficulty or any challenge or any obstacle, within seconds, I know the person to pick up the phone to ring and I can have some answers to that, that particular issue. And so it is always good to have those sort of friendship. I do have friends who are of my age, who I impart wisdom, knowledge, and I impart value. That is good. Uh, but those to whom I consider my friends who add value to my life, whom I will call my inner cycle, about three or five of them, the average age is about 65. And without a doubt, whenever I have a challenge or an issue or a problem, I pick up the phone or send an email and the answer will come in minutes. I mean minutes. Whatever they are doing, they will stop and speak to me. And so when it comes to friendship and those who add value to your life, that is the sort of thing I am talking about. It is good to have friends in your age cycle or with your contemporaries. Uh, the best way to learn is to teach. So it's good to have friends to whom you will teach something that you've learned. You know, you impart knowledge, add value. But most often than not, it is good to have people who are older than you who will um, add value to your life. So, um, you know, as I said, it, it is good to have friends. I have a lot of friends in my contemporary. I have a lot of friends who are in their mid-40s. A lot. I have a lot of friends who are in their mid-40s. And, you know, we share jokes. We laugh. Uh, from time to time, I'll have a barbecue in the house. I will invite most of them and we'll have a good time. But when I'm facing a big obstacle or a challenge or a difficulty, there are people I go to. And those are people who add value to me. So, so you know, I hope I have attempted to answer your question. As I said, friendship is broad, is, is a big subject. But, you know, this is just the beginning of, of what we are discussing. I haven't prepared any script. Uh, I'm taking the answers as, or, or, or giving you answers as, as we go along. Uh, 
but you know i will i will encourage you to you know um read around uh, our, our, our father the reverend dr mensa otabel has written books about friendship uh go to his bookstore and pick up a book and read i believe that will help you a lot uh, look at jesus he had 12 disciples he had 72 12 and 3 look at that model of friendship and learn something from it and and i'm sure you know we will do well thank you for joining in we've we've gone over uh half an hour now i will edit this video and um and it will go onto the uh, YouTube video page. Uh, so, you know, let's bring it to a close. Uh, let me pray for you, Tego. Uh, before I leave you, I'm sure there's someone else watching. I can't quite see who the person is. But let's pray before we end this session. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the gift of friendship. Uh, we pray that you give us wisdom in choosing our friends wisely. We pray that you will put in our path the people that will help us grow, that will help us learn to know you, that will help us love our neighbors as ourselves. We pray that you will bring people who will help us become the person that you have called us to be. We pray that you will bring people in our lives to Help us into our destiny. Help us achieve our aims and goals in life. And so, Father, as we bring this session to a close, may your blessing be upon us. May your power overshadow our lives. And so we pray and offer ourselves to you afresh for your service. Use us to the fullness of your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Right, Tego, I shall see you again in the next session, probably and hopefully next Saturday. God bless. Shalom. <laughs>